join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another action figure review. Jumping back into the retro collection, still going by the uh, wave based on characters from The Mandalorian. We're taking a look at Quill. Really cool looking figure, great looking card back. Hopefully he gets a standard release in the vintage collection real soon. His Black Series figure was one of the best in uh, in the in the line. Um, so I'm really looking forward to taking this guy out. And I might do a little side by side next to the uh, original Ugnaught. Because, uh, yeah, I'm interested to sort of pair the two together and see what they look like. Really hoping for a Blurg. Um, I'd probably prefer one in the 6 inch black series to be honest, but uh, I'll take a TVC or a retro one. That'll look fantastic in a box. Um, but yeah, let's, t let's crack open Quill and have a look. Alright, here is Quill and boy has he spoken. Um, he looks really, really cool. Again, I'm actually one of the people that really like the colour scheme they went with on this. Um, you know, I spoke briefly in the uh, Cara Dune review beforehand. Um, that all these all these retro Mandalorian figures, they've all got their own sort of very unique colour scheme, much like the vintage figures has. And I think what they've done here with Quill is definitely a prime example of that. Um, you know, nice bright yellows, greens, browns. You know, it, it defines the character, so to speak. Despite it not being totally accurate to the show, you know, he wore some more sort of muted sort of colours as well. So, um, you know, for the sake of a toy... I think it works really well. I love that the backpack sort of sculpted on his back there. It looks great. One sort of very much a vintage, non, non gripping hand. And then he does have his little, his little weapon here, which looks cool. Almost like a little slug thrower kind of thing. That sits nicely in his hand. His little sort of mutton chop beard, beard there looks cool. Little goggles and his little hat. Now I've got an original Ugnaught here, just to sort of compare looks. The quill doesn't have the tusks of this guy, but in terms of scale, standing next to each other, they're, they're very much of the same species, which is cool. This guy on the left almost looks like a, uh, you know, if, if you turn Doc Brown from Back to the Future into a into an Ugnaught, this is what he'd look like. <laughs> so I'm going to put him aside again. But yeah, Quill's looking great. I think he's fantastic. I'm really, 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 really happy with this one. I would have loved a Blurg to go with this one. I really, really would. Just a, such a brilliant character. He was brought to life so well. Um, he definitely stood in as the sort of wizened stage. Wizened sage is what I was meant to try and say. In uh, the Mando's hero's journey. So... Fantastic stuff. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down sound out in the comments below. What do you think of Quill? What do you think of this figure? Share your thoughts down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out on the rest of these awesome retro collection vintage style action figure reviews. And uh Next one I'll be back with is uh, Grief Karga, so we'll stay tuned for that one. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always.